despite the promising autopsy and ecologic, meaning population data, that I just covered, supporting a specific association between low magnesium levels and sudden cardiac death, there's only been two studies prospectively examining the association. This one from the Harvard Nurses Study, published in 2011, and this one from 2010, the Atherosclerosis Risk in Communities Study, covering a multi-ethnic population of thousands of men and women. High blood levels of magnesium were associated with an almost 40% reduced risk of sudden cardiac death and women in the highest compared with the lowest quarter of dietary and blood magnesium had a 34% and 77% lower risk of sudden cardiac death, respectively. Another 2011 study noting magnesium is an essential mineral in whole grains, leafy green vegetables, legumes, meaning beans, peas, lentils, and soy, and nuts, as well as seeds, that acts as a cofactor in hundreds of enzymatic reactions in the human body, a considerable body of evidence indicates that a higher intake of dietary magnesium may favorably affect a cluster of metabolic and inflammatory disorders, including many of our top killers like diabetes and heart disease. So, did they put a whole bunch of people on whole grains, beans, greens, and nuts? No, they gave them a pill. A randomized double-blind controlled crossover trial, and indeed magnesium pills did improve some biomarkers in the bodies of uh, the overweight individual study. But come on. In fact, even the Harvard nurses study threw up their hands in defeat. Since most Americans do not meet the RDA, even taking pills, therefore we need more pills, and put it in the water supply and start fortifying foods. I mean, there's no way, apparently, that Americans are going to start eating spinach or something. It's true, though, that most Americans eat so poorly that they don't even get the measly recommended daily intake. This is the daily value for magnesium—400. This is how much the average American gets. How much do you think the average American vegetarian gets? Well. Recently published in the Journal of the American Dietetics Association, a vegetarian dietary pattern as a nutrient-dense approach to weight management. They measured vegetarian magnesium intake, and they're not eating their greens either. Non-vegetarians ate an average of 0.1 cups of dark green leafy vegetables a day. The vegetarians ate 0.15 cups. They did better, but still, not enough greens, beans, whole grains, nuts, and seeds. It's not enough to eat a plant-based diet. We need to eat a healthy plant-based diet.